Welcome back you guys. I'm going to be doing a video showing you how I install this closure. But beforehand, I want to show you what it looked like before just in case you missed out on those videos. So I will link a video of the first impression of me showing you guys this hair fresh out of the package. Here is what the closure looked like prior to what you guys may have seen now. Very nice natural color. I did decide to lift the color of the closure as well as the wefted hair to this beautiful red. This is by Dark and Lovely and it is Vivacious Red. I do have a tutorial showing you guys how I colored this hair. So I will leave a link in the description box as well. And here are the results after using that Vivacious Red. So this video will basically focus on how I sew down my closure from the Naked Nature line to a dome cap to achieve a full wig. Let's get started. Alright, so let's get right into this closure. This is what it looks like up close. The lace closure does have that little slip of lace right there where, you, where it should pretty much lay on the top of your head. And then the entire lace is surrounded by this mesh fabric or mesh material. And you can see it's completely surrounding the closure except for the top. No, I did have a little bit of accident and got some dye on it. No biggie. But as you can see, all of these holes, I have been trying to figure out what they are. Those holes are to sew through. That outer border right here where I'm showing you, this outer border here, that's where you're going to sew your thread through. And basically that is just a guide for you to sew. You're going to sew right through those holes. Now that area in the middle, I'm not sure what that's for because that's where the hair is attached. But this border on the outer line, that does not have hair on it and I am under the impression that that's for you to sew your needle and thread through. Now you see those holes right at the top. You can actually sew through those holes too. And that way it's going to apply really flat. The cap that I'm going to be using to construct this wig is going to be the dome cap. Now this is just a black dome cap. I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply Store. Normally I like to use my weaving caps for this. But for this particular style, I'm going to be using a dome cap because these caps fit a little more snug. What I'm doing is just laying it down flat so I can get an idea of how I'm going to sew this. Now you guys see that band right there? That does not have hair on it like I said before. And I'm going to pin the hair out the way so that you guys can see it a lot better. But that band there is basically there to help you guide you through the whole process so that your, your closure really lays down flat. Now we're going to get into the sewing part. Now right where that tab stops, make sure that you line it up with your cap. And once you do that, you can go ahead and start sewing. Now there are two little holes right in front of the lace and I'm going to show you guys really quickly. I'm going to sew through those holes too. So you see that hole right there, you're going to sew through that and then just continue to go at a zigzag or like a diagonal motion. Now I kind of got sidetracked and it don't look like it's supposed to, but basically you go through the holes just like that. So you take that needle, you go from the right side all the way through the left side. Now you see how I'm taking that needle and gliding it through both holes pulling that string through both holes that's pretty much how you're going to do this until you complete the entire closure very easy for those who may not know how to sew and it just gives you the perfect direction in regards to sewing it down so i think this is very great for beginners so get it in close you can see top bottom top bottom that's where you're going to sew your thread through it's kind of like a guide an easy guide to get you through sewing now your closure 
um, long as you sew through them holes, you're a-okay. But it's supposed to have like a diagonal look throughout the whole process. But hey, sew it down the best you can and you'll be good. Now this is the finished product. One thing about this lace closure is it kind of gives you like that silk base appeal. You can't really see like the actual knots on this closure. I thought that was a pretty cool thing. So when you look at it, you see it's not like your average closure. So here's the first side, sew completely down and you see how that mesh material, you just have to cut that off once you're finished. and. Here's the other side. You can see how <laughs> uniform it was in the beginning. Then once it got towards the back, I don't know what the hell I was doing. But after I did that, I sewed a line directly underneath that band just for added security. Um, I just did that because I wanted it to really stay. But that's totally optional. So now I'm just ready to go ahead and apply the tracks. I'm going to be using a high glue gun like I do most of my wigs and it's a lot easier for me. I just wanted to insert some clips so you guys can see me sort of doing the hair or making my wig. Um, right now that is one pack of hair. I still have two packs to go and that's how much area I have left. This is how much I have left and I'm going to add the third bundle. I definitely made my tracks very very close together so you definitely can get away with two bundles but I wanted mine to be really full and I want to use up all the hair so I just made them really close here is the finished product you can see those curls and the hair did get a little frizzy after I did dye it but I'm gonna go ahead and straighten it and style it so if you guys have any questions be sure to leave them below and stay tuned for more videos featuring this hair also, if you have not seen the install video for this hair, be sure to check the information box as well to see that.